Hey guys, welcome to For Tutorials. Guys, today I create motion graphic text animation in Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I go to more graph and use more text. And guys, I type only S letter and alignment take middle. Font, Arial black. That's it. But guys, little bit increase depth like 25 centimeter. Yes. And now make editable this text. Click here. Yes. Guys, I go to on layer. Right click on more text. Select children. One more time. Right click and connect object plus delete. Yes. But guys, center pivot. Change. So I go to mesh. Axis center. Guys, point center check including children and use all object check and execute check yes that's it and now guys i create animation so i go to display select shading lines and go on layer and guys go to chord see guys this is my rotation so increase frame like 350 and guys go on zero frame and rotation all check right and now guys I go to 80 frames 80 and change rotation like H rotation take random 360 and P rotation 360 and B take 0 and all check go on back and play yes right after that guys i go to 150 frame and change rotation h rotation i take 1080 and p rotation i take 360 and b rotation same take 360 and check go on back and again play yes guys this is my rotation animation yeah great and now guys I go to 200 frames 200 and one more time rotation change H rotation take same 1080 and P rotation this time I take 1080 and B rotation same 360 and all check go on back and one more time play yes great and now guys I go to 250 frames and change rotation same but guys lastly B rotation this time increase like 720 and check and now lastly I go to 300 frames 300 and all rotation take 720 720 720 720 and check that's it guys my animation is finished and play See guys, this is my rotation animation. Right? And now, guys, I take null object, null object, and make child with more text. But guys, null object position change. Go on here and up. Right, guys, this is my null object position. And guys, I take tracer. So I go to MoGraph and use tracer. That's it. And guys, select all layer. Make group. The shortcut command is Alt G. See guys, this is my group and rename G R U P group. And guys, one more time, I take null object. 
select this null object, go on mid, in tracer and more text, right? Now, right click on null object, guys, I go to character tags and use constant and PSR check and spring check. That's it. Guys, select this PSR and holding shift key and select spring. See guys, this is my option, right? And now, see guys, this is target. PSR target and spring target. Select this last null object, drag and drop in target. And same, select this null object, drag and drop in spring target. Yes. Right, guys? But, guys, this my center pivot change on here. So, change strength and this length. Yes. See, guys. Now, constant tag on here right okay after that guys i take circle and circle radius take only five centimeter five go on here group and now i take swap guys select this tracer and circle and make child with swap and play but guys, this is not animate. So stop, go on back. I go to tracer. Guys, see, tracer link. Select this middle null object. Drag and drop in tracer link. And limit. Use from and. And increase amount like 20. And guys, type use B spline and intermediate points, I take subdivided. That's it. And play. See guys. Right, but this is not a real stick. So I stop. Guys, I go to swap and go to detail. Go on scale size, select this link points and go on mate, actually down. And guys, create points. So press Ctrl key and click and up. Yes. Hide lines. Go on back and play. See guys. This is really nice. Right. Guys. I take one more null object. So I show you how to create. I take null object, select this null object and make child with null object this mate. And guys, I go to tracer and drag and drop in tracer link. Right? It's so easy guys. But change null object position. Select this null object. This time go on back. Yes and play see guys i have two spline right so stop guys i apply one more same select null object and make child and select tracer drag and drop in tracer link and tracer link go on below yes and go on back and play see guys i have three spline and last time i apply one more so same select null object and make child go on tracer select last one and tracer link attach and guys select this null object last Go on back and play. See guys, this is really nice. So you can change null object position. Like this. See guys. 
and now guys i apply light so i go to file and merge select cinema 4d studio light and open select flow and background little bit down set camera angle camera angle like this yes select camera and check guys you can lock this camera right click i go to cinema 4d tech and use protection that's it light set yes little bit down and select this softbox little bit closer right guys all is good i apply material i go to create and load material and open apply blue material on mode text and yellow material on swap and now i go to render setting select full hd frame this frame range i use all this is my save file path format is your wish avi movie jpeg sequence and this is my save file path create folder s and take any file name guys i go to nt select best and effect mb occlusion and global illumination that's it render setting is good close and guys all is good and play right so guys my animation is finished if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this project file link in description from my website thank you